If you want to sum values based on a drop down box in Microsoft Excel, I've got you covered. I'm going to show you everything you need to know. So let's dive straight in. The first thing you're going to go and do is copy your data sheet so that you have your original and then you have a duplicate of. From here, we're going to go up to our ribbon. We're going to go to data and on the right, you'll see a remove duplicates. And from here, you can go down and you'll see that it has selected that list. We're going to click on OK and all of your duplicates within that list will now be removed. The next thing you need to do is populate the next headings. So in the next cell, which is E1, we want to type in select fruit. And then we also want a total amount. So here we'll be able to select from a drop down menu and get a total from our original list. We're going to go ahead and you need to select the very following cell. So in my case, it's E2. Again, in our ribbon, we're going to go to data and we're going to look for data validation from the drop down menu and select it. Now, in settings over here, you will go to validation criteria and under allow, we want to change that to list. You're going to then go ahead and select your source. Now, in my case, the source is D2 and D9. That is where my data range will be coming from. So it's under the fruit heading and it is all the values under that heading. So from here, we're going to go ahead, select a fruit and we're going to go into our total amount, which is one cell to the right. And in the cell just underneath the heading, we're going to dial in equals sheet three in my case and then we are going to use exclamation and then f2 which is our current cell that we're in now once you use this formula it will populate so from here you're going to go into the total amount just next to the fruit that we've selected and you're going to add in this equation now the detail in here is to make sure that you are selecting your data range so from your very first list where it you have your fruit and amount that is where we're going to be collecting our data from so wherever your source data is in my case it's from a2 and it's ranging down to b14 that is where my data range is so just make sure that you are adding the data range that is applicable to your specific sheet you'll now see that you have an amount and this amount is the total amount in your original list, your source data. And now you can go and check some of the other items in your drop down menu and see if they correlate and the sum is correct.